Hello and thank you for trialling Really Simple Systems. In this video I'm going to give you a brief tour around the Really Simple Systems CRM demonstrating how to use the main features. Let's first take a look at the dashboard screen. We have preloaded some demo accounts so you can see how the CRM might look once you get started with your own data and you can delete this demo data at any time. The dashboard gives a summary of your account activity. In this example the Tasks widget shows how many tasks are now due and you can click on the boxes to see all the urgent tasks, the current ones or all the tasks. The Account by Source pie chart shows where your leads are coming from. The Sales Funnel breaks down your sales pipeline by your sales stages. You can customise how many sales stages you have and what they are called. The Opportunity and Forecast Summary is an overview of all the deals you and your team are working on. This shows you how many deals have been closed this month and by who, and how many other deals are in your sales pipeline. Here, for example, we can see that Sophie has three opportunities she is working on, and if they all come in, they come to 17,000. However, she has put a percentage probability against each one, so is expecting 10,000 to actually close. You can edit the dashboard widgets to show what's important to you and create customised charts. The next thing I want to point out is that in every page of the CRM, there's a help draw. Just click on the question mark tab in the top right hand corner. This pulls out a panel with quick tips and links through to our CRM support hub for further information. In most drawers, you'll also find a short video. The getting started introduction video is what you're watching now. Next to the help draw tab, clicking the bell icon opens your notifications box. Here you'll find timely messages to help you get started, including an invitation to our weekly introductory webinar. The main menu on the left hand side allows you to navigate around the CRM. The accounts link will show you all the accounts in the system, that's the companies and organisations you deal with. The contacts link will show you all the people who work for those accounts. Opportunities takes you to the page that shows all the deals that you are working on and tasks are the actions that need to be done. There are two report writers in the system and if you have the additional marketing or service and support modules enabled, then you'll see their menu options here. And below this, you can see the pages that you have recently visited in the history section. Once you know your way around the main menu, you can collapse it to save space on your screen. At the top of every page is the search box. As soon as you start typing into the search box, it will look for accounts, contacts, opportunities and tasks that fit your search criteria. You can then click through to any of the results. Let's take a look at the data now. I'm going to click on the accounts menu to pull up a list of all the companies and organisations we deal with. By default, it has brought up all accounts. But if I change that to my accounts, I'll see just those where I am the account owner. You can sort on any column by clicking on it. You can customise this grid as you can any grid in the CRM by dragging the columns to where you want them and choosing which fields to display from the Columns button. If you select any of the checkboxes against each account, you'll see that the buttons above the grid change. You can delete, export, copy or merge your selection. Let's click into an account and see what's in it. On the left hand side of the screen is the basic information about this account the address, telephone number, etc. Clicking on the location icon brings up Google Maps. On the right hand side is some analysis and segmentation. The type defines whether it's a prospect, a customer or so on. The account owner is the person who manages the account. You can change how these fields work and add more fields using the customization options. If you scroll down, you'll see the contact section. These are the people who work for this company. The decision maker box denotes who is the key person to sell to in this account. And the hold box is controlled by the marketing module if they have requested to be taken off your mailing list. You can quickly add a new contact by typing their details straight into the grid. Below this is the tasks section. Tasks are actions that you need to do in the future 
such as call somebody back. You can have as many tasks for an account as you like and you can assign them to other people. The activities section shows all your past interactions with this account. That's your calls, meetings, emails, etc. If you're using the email integration feature, your emails to and from the contacts in this account will automatically be added. Opportunities are the deals that you have closed and are working on. And quotations records the quotes you have created and sent. Linked accounts enable you to show a relationship between accounts by linking them together. For example, companies in the same group. And finally, you can attach an electronic document to the account, such as a purchase order. You can collapse and open any grid by clicking on the arrow next to its name. There's a lot of information on the account page, but we have purposely put it all in one place so that it's easy to find. You may find that different members of your team are using different sections and they can customise their screen using the cog icon at the top. This lets you hide the grids you're not using and reorder the ones you are. On the left hand side menu, you will see links for contacts, opportunities and tasks. These are going to show you the same information that we saw on the accounts page, but across all the different accounts. So if I click on contacts, I can see all contacts or I can choose to just show my contacts. The same for opportunities. I can see everyone's opportunities or just my own and the same for tasks. There are two powerful report writers in the CRM a general purpose listing report writer and a dedicated report writer for sales forecasting. Both are easy to use and are included in all price plans. On the top right is a link to go to the settings tab where you can manage which features you want, customise your CRM, set up users, import data and turn on the integrations to other products. You need to be set up as a system administrator to have access to most of these functions. You can add a picture by clicking on the image here and finally you can securely exit the CRM with the logout link. That's the end of this quick tour of really simple systems. Thank you for watching this video and remember that if you do need more help configuring your CRM there's a wealth of videos and documentation on the support hub and our friendly support team is just an email away.